What's happening? Truckers United is one. Today's Wednesday, hump day. Whoop, whoop. Hope you guys are having a great day. I haven't done a tutorial video in a while, so I figured I would probably do one today. And we're going to talk about mid-trip inspections. And what I mean by a mid-trip inspection is if you're like me and you do several dropping hooks during the day, when you pick up another trailer, you got to do a walk around and do your inspection on that new trailer you're picking up. So I've already dropped my empty. I uh, went to Livonia, Michigan and back. I'm in Perrysburg, Ohio right now. Um, I just hooked up to this new trailer. So I'm going to walk around with you guys and show you what I look for when I do a mid-trip. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so one of the first things I do when I do a mid-trip is after I'm hooked to the trailer is, uh, is uh, get my truck started here. Now, one of the things I like to do before I even get out and do a mid-trip inspection is to push this knob in. I want to apply air to the trailer, that way I can check for leaks. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to check the front of our trailer. Make sure there's no damage to the to the head to the front, and we're going to make sure that our uh, lines are tight and connected. Make sure there's no audible air leaks. Okay, come underneath. You want to look at your skid plate, your fifth wheel plate. Make sure that it's all intact. Want to make sure your handle's pushed all the way in. You want to come underneath here. Make sure your fifth wheel's engaged. Make sure your fifth wheel's locked to the trailer. While you're back here, you're checking your lights, making sure those are working. So I got the light test on, so it'll put the brake lights, turn signals, the whole shot. You also want to look at the ribs underneath. Make sure there's no cracked or damaged ribs. You want to look at the landing gear, make sure your handle's in place, make sure that you know you dollied them all the way up. You want to look at your rails all the way down make sure there's no damage. The one on top is also important. Make sure there's no damage there. Backtrack just a little bit. I'll well, make sure the marker light up top is on, which I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's lit. So as we mark, work our way down, I'll make sure that this light here is working properly. Make sure it lights up. You want to look underneath, make sure the ribs are all in good shape. You also want to look at your uh, air lines and electrical lines that are hanging down here. Make sure they're secured with springs. Also want to make sure this reflector tape. Make sure that they're all intact all the way down the side of the trailer. You want to make sure that your fifth wheel, or that your uh, tandems rather, are locked in place. Make sure these pins are out. Your tire tread, which I don't have a tire gauge, 230 seconds minimum tread depth. Now, if you had a tire gauge, you'd also make sure that these are aired up to at least 100 PSI. But you can see I have the auto inflation system, so we're not going to worry about that. But as you can see, my uh, tandems are locked in. You want to make sure that that yellow ABS light is not lit. And make sure the marker light is lit. If the ABS, ABS light's on, that means your ABS service is inoperable. It's not an out-of-service violation. However, you do want to get that fixed. And then you want to check your lights back here. Make sure that everything's lit. So everything's working back here. You want to make sure that your tape is across the back of the doors and on your DOT bumper. And then you really can't see it, but there's some white tape up there in the corners. You want to make sure those are present also. Check the doors for any damages, make sure it's locked, secured. Make sure your hinges are all in one piece, not broken. So we're going to keep walking around. Like I said, you can check all your lights, make sure they're lit. 230 seconds on the tread depth. You want to check both sides, make sure that they're locked in. You can see my pins are both sticking out and they're locked in. And I got a good tread on this trailer. So you want to look down both sides, like I said, you want to check both rails, top and bottom. You want to make sure there's no damage. Make sure all the yellow and white reflective tape is there. Making sure all the lights work. 
you know, check this landing gear on both sides. Make sure it's intact. There's no dents, dings. Make sure that there's nothing that's going to make this trailer drop to the ground when you go to drop it. And you want to check your ribs. Like I said, this is just a quick mid-trip inspection. So, a quick mid-trip inspection. Just want to make sure trailer's safe to go down the road. Now, yeah, like I said, that was just a mid-trip inspection. Something I probably should have mentioned in the video, too, is uh, when you're in the back of the trailer and you're looking underneath at your pins, you want to listen for audible air leaks. And if you can visualize your brake pads, you want to make sure that your brake pads are intact and that they have enough meat on them to meet DOT specs. Um, I'm not crawling underneath the damn thing on my back to look at everything, but this, like I said, this is just a quick mid-trip inspection. And just a little disclaimer, I am not a CDL instructor, nor do I intend to be. But these are just things that I look for. Um, just a, another word of advice, too, on the, uh, on the tandems. On the front on, and on the back, there should be a bar or pins in place. And when you slide your tandems, that bar is meant to stop them tandems from going too far forward or too far back. Um, for those of you that see my uh, videos in the past, I had a rave about that because I did have a trailer that was missing that stop bar and my tandems ended up about where the re uh, middle marker light is on the trailer. So when you're doing your, your uh, walk around, make sure that those stop pegs or the bar that goes all the way across. Wall Bash usually has the full bar. Great Danes usually has a metal peg that's welded in place to stop them tandems from either going too far forward or too far back. So make sure those are in place. And, uh, you know, make sure you have no audible air leaks because if you get DOT inspected and you have an audible air leak, they will put you out of service for that. So I hope you gained a little bit of insight on this. And uh, I will do some more tutorial videos in the future. Until next time, this is Trucker Dave. Y'all be safe. Keep the rubber side down, shiny side up. Keep the bears off your ass and the bugs off the glass. I'll catch you later. Just a couple more items I forgot to mention too. When you're uh, doing your mid-trip inspection, make sure your mud flaps are intact, not hanging. Make sure they're not touching the rear wheels. And I mentioned something about these stop pegs. I wanted to show you guys these. These are both in the front and in the back. You can see this one here. And then there's one right over there. Now these are on the front and rear of your slides on the trailer. That prevents these tandems from going too far back or too far forward. So that's not a normal thing that you would check, but I would advise checking that so that way you're not in a position I was in a few months ago. So at any rate, that's about all I had for today. Hopefully wherever you're at in the country, you're uh, making that money, keeping it safe. Uh, if you have any recommendations on any other tutorial videos that I could possibly do, you know, drop your comments, message me on Facebook. Um, until next time, this is Trucker Dave. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.